welcome to another face hammer show another one two in one day what's going on yeah. um we billion speak... releases that's what's going on <laughs> more rules so we uh we talked about sunesh uh and we yeah. said about the updates and we mentioned that there was some stuff on the app and we're waiting for the battle scroll to drop and literally a couple hours later the battle scroll dropped so we're going to talk about battle scroll there you go and the big balance update so um people who don't know this is like their new framing of an update it's like a pdf um with all the little changes on it that i think is every quarter the last one was the predator prey prime hunters one which is now obsolete that doesn't exist anymore um and there's a warhammer community article to go with it how do you feel about predators and prey not existing anymore I don't think uh, it was a perfect way of doing it, but I think it had the right intent behind it. I think it makes sense because it's a different meta now. Um, and some of the things that were in Predators and Prey are being addressed in this update because basically yeah. rather than just giving people bonus points, they're actually just going in and changing rules, which, you know, you know, you look at the Predators Prey stuff and it's like, oh yes, of Seraphon units like Bastinodons and things like that. Um, you know, I think that the issue with Predator's Prey was that one, you could pivot the units out. So like you saw Salamanders drop out of Seraphon list, but Seraphon was still competitive. Yeah. And then you saw things like weaker armies not get the points because they couldn't kill the units. Yeah. <clears throat> and you didn't really see people pivot away from like your long strikes because they did something nothing else could do and they do it from across the board. So they're not likely to die. So, and you saw maybe a, a lower uptake on Gargants because they're a combat army and it hurt yeah. them. But then they were getting loads of bonus points, but now they don't get the bonus points, so maybe it's good it goes away. So it's like, maybe that's to offset that. I mean, it makes sense to me. Um, yeah. So there's an article. Um, there's a quote from Matt Rose, who's from the studio, basically says that um, they brought the hunt to an end. They made some targeted adjustments to certain units. Uh, many of which were previously designated as priority targets. So that's the comment that we were just talking about. Our focus of battle scroll is purely external balance. We want to bring all factions, sub factions, or army types within our 45 to 55% win rate target, which is obviously there's a target there, which may have may not know about that. Um, as such, you'll see certain Stormcast Eternals list cities of Sigma Living City sub faction coalesced for seraphon and legion of the first prince all come down a notch where meanwhile head knights blades cruel boys bone splitters gloom spike fleshy ossi arcs all get a boost and can't can't argue with the things that are listed there as being too good and the things that need a bit of help so it's a good start yeah exactly and um we might have covered some of the chaos adjustments already but we'll talk about so we've got the updates here so we'll start off with order uh, we got the Stormcast, Stormcast Eternals. Yeah. Change the Thunderbolt volley. So basically, the change here is that the unit can't be reinforced, right? Yeah. So it's just a Andros unit that is not reinforced. So you can't take six long strikes and shoot in the hero phase, then in the shooting phase. So, oh, um, good. yeah, pretty good. About right. Probably, you know, like a little poke, less spike potential of the mortals. Um, seems kind of it's sensible. a difficult one because i don't know how much you need to change it um there's obviously yeah. quite a foundation of strong lists but yeah whether or not you just see like um, long strikes fall out of lists i don't know um a little three in there is kind of cute it's kind of stormcasty mm -hmm. <clears throat> having a big block of them i always thought felt very strange like you probably just split your six table. into two threes right so right yeah yeah, yeah. exactly so we've got a change to the Storm Drake Guard, which is the Draconic Onslaught ability that's once per battle in your charge phase. You can see this unit can unleash its onslaught, can re-roll the charge rolls to the unit in that phase. So it's gone Thanks. from the hero phase move and then a charge with no unleash hell or redeploy, which... Thank God. Yeah. It's just too powerful, <laughs> couldn't fix that unit with points, couldn't do anything, should have never been on a scroll. Um Especially not something that's not like, you know, like a 500 point dragon or something. Uh, yeah, I guess the only comparison you've got is more crushers, and that's like a, a cornerstone of their army, and it is very good. And it's a mount trait, so it's once per army, not yeah. 
Oh, I get it on every this. single unit with this rule. I repeat this on my uh, two fours or whatever. Yeah, way better. Way better. Um, don't know how that will... Like, are you going to see less of them as a result of that? Or do you think you'll see the same amount and they're just more balanced? It's difficult because, like, they're That's really great. good um, bounty hunter unit, but also, like... The, the the tactics aren't about monsters, so but then people can't be immune to raw, so it's like I, I don't know. Like I still think they're great. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. That, um, that feels, you know, nicely toned. Um, that one, I think. I mean, people might pivot to formulators, but other than that, well, I don't know. I don't know if their points have gone up or anything. But no, I don't. I don't know. Someone can tell us. Yeah. Um, City is a sigma. <laughs> So the living city rule melt away, strike and melt this away. This is a good segue because very often that would be with Fulminators. Yeah. Um, so this was the ability to move um, after you shoot, but now you've still got to finish that move nine away from the enemy units rather than deploy nine away, shoot them, so move within three, then charge. <laughs> so if you came off from the edges, um, maybe you can use that to get yourself closer to the middle. And then you still got a nine inch charge to make, not like a three or something ridiculous. So fantastic. Yeah. So it, it just stops people using that ability to basically catapult their combat units into combat rather than yeah. um, actually what it's that's, for, which is to be with like actually like shooting and moving away from that's people. Been, that's been like a cornerstone of Phil for cities for mm -hmm. so long, hasn't mm -hmm. it? That's been bent for like what, four years? No, I don't. I don't know how long it's been there, but I don't well, think, it's, it's, I don't think the game's existed. been four years. <laughs> so. Well, it's, it's, how long has the city's book been out? I don't know. Remember COVID since think. Dogs of War. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that is a that's a big deal. That's a big change. It was, a big, right. it was it was hot in the meta in the last since AOS three came out, which is all that really matters. So um, yeah, um, big change to coalesced. Um, the scaly skin battle trait only applies to Saurus, Croxagore, and monsters. So no more skinks no, tanking Bellacore or like blow up and going, oh yeah, it's only one damage. It's only one damage. Stupid That's, bloody um, rule. Yeah, I mean, well, the entire book's stupid. Um, so I don't think you can fix it with, you know, this is quite an elegant, succinct. Mm -hmm. It's one and a half pages and it's making a big difference to the game. You can't fix the Seraphon book in in one and a half pages all written for the Seraphon. But that is a good well, you start. could if the FAQ is this book is now Warhammer Legends move on. Yeah. Uh but yeah, no, I'm kidding. Um I'm not. Uh so <laughs> then we get into Grand Alliance Chaos. So you've got Broken Realms Bellacore. Another book that should have never been bloody written. <laughs> Legion of the First Prince. Um so basically he can't bounce wounds anymore. He just gets bonuses to hit and wound. Absolutely. But uh now you can Pop, uh, can pop signaled in there for 205 points. So that's nice. He's not a demon. Oh, you can't get him in, can you? No. You get the uh, Contorted Epitome, he's gone down a bit. That's yeah. one that they pop in, isn't it? It's fine. Most people would just pivot away from Legion, I think. Because, like, that... But fair, when I played Rick, he didn't have him as a general anyway. So it didn't matter. Nope. So It's still um, a damn good book. It it's is. It's an insanely good book. It's not a book. Disclaimer. <laughs> um, a bag of War Scrolls uh, grab bag. Um... And we've talked about this already, so you go check out our Sonesh Aftermath show that, that's going to be out roughly the same time as this. Yeah, some helpful points changes for Sonesh. Not everything they need, but a lot of it. And uh, yeah. It's enough to be able to actually put an army on the table and feel like you can have a game. Um, yeah, it's a, there's a lot of stuff missing from that list. Um, Slick Blade Seekers, yeah. Bliss Barb Seekers. Yeah, we went through on the other show. Bloods. Yeah, yeah. Fiend Bloods, the points could be 80. I don't think you'd take them. Um, yeah, sixty. Rock on. You might take him then. Make him skip the priest screen. points. <laughs> oh, um, that's just not. Um, and then blades of corns. This one's quite a big one, in my it opinion. Is. So, um, blood for the blood god battle trait. If you choose a reward of the effects, your blood tithe points totals reset to zero. That's removed. And the same with summoning. So blood tithe no longer resets to zero. That's going to make a big difference in the game. Huge. Massive. Because you, what I found when I played corn, there'd be that one turn where loads of stuff dies. 
and then you yeah. but you then need to burn the ability on like a fight in the hero phase which i think is or, like yeah. three or four or like, or like make a charge and you've just lost like all two or three. the yeah. lost it all absolutely whereas now you can still keep those points to get your blood first in on the next turn so yeah. it's really good i mean you can like like uh use a cheap one save use a cheap one save use a cheap one mm -hmm. save turn auto three, unbind four, Drops good. makes a difference yeah 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 absolutely no um, but it, it's a real difference isn't it cool i like corn um then some little subtle changes to death. I'm not sure how big a difference this well, makes. Baby section for you, Russ. Uh, well, um, they've changed the death as courtiers yeah. battle trait to just a ward of six, so cool. you're not restricted on if your hero's nearby anymore. A bit like yeah. the Night Haunt book. So That's nice. maybe this would be something we see in further death books, where basically it's just they just have a flat ward rather than having to have characters People within range. It anyway, didn't they? When, when the the amount of times a, a I've played someone. And then you go, where's your character? Where's, the where's your character? Yeah. And they are, and most people don't, because only because I play death, I know. Yeah. But a lot of people don't clock it. They just automatically roll after saves. And to be honest, it's another level of wankery to measure, to set up, to be in yeah. range. It's like, it's just not needed. And then you've got Osiarch, Bone Reapers. <clears throat> so Necropolis, Stalkers, and Immortus Guard, battle line if general is Mortisan. So your Mortisans are like your hero, you know, like your mini heroes, like not your Liege Cavalos, so like your, you know, your Soul Masons and stuff like that. Um, now, Stalkers, they dropped not in points enough, to 175. The fact that they can be veterans because they've got four wounds, so not necessarily you want them to be veterans, but the, the idea is that at least they can fight in two ranks. Um, they're quite a scary unit. Um, they also they kind of um, self reliant, aren't they? They do their own thing without mm -hmm. too much help from other people. You can send them off solo. Yeah, they get an aspect where it doesn't cost you a command, an RDP, a relentless discipline point. But it it does. But the good thing about that is it can't be roared to stop it because you're like, well, it's an aspect. It doesn't. It's yeah, like just... an ability. So, um, I really like stalkers. Don't like building them but i really like them in my list that's and now to write and not do an army that's pure monstery is actually cool. be really cool it's like it's a, like a like a reanimate army isn't it yeah it's like a big chunky that's very cool i like that um so it definitely opens up some builds it probably means you if you want to do that you have to go out and buy a load of kits you don't own because no obr player in the right mind bought more than like three of these i know people can tell me they got six or whatever i know so i've got six it's fine i haven't got any amortis guard built because why would you um but they might be more useful now That's i don't nice know though. yeah nice to hear. it's just nice to see some options open up so yeah, um sure don't think it makes a huge difference. I think the points drops on OBR make more of a difference. Um, and the endless spell changes. But more tech guard without reroll saves from being roared is is rough. So um destruction. Yeah, quite a lot of changes here. So this is something I'm really happy about with um Cruel Boys. And it's something I I sort of floated in December to the design studio i said we should do this because i think it's going to open up a lot of builds and that is to get away from the big yellers is to basically for each gut ripper unit you can take a hobgrot slitters unit as battle line yes because gut rippers are a massive tax and the problem is you go into big yellows just so you got cheap battle line because they're 180 points and you're like yeah, well yeah. if i take three units of min size gut rippers Oh, it adds up to so much. It's so do. many points. You and take it doesn't one of them really as a not min size, and you're like, why have I got 700 points of crap? Yeah. Whereas now you could take, like, you might even end up sending the same amount of points on them, but at least you can take Hobgrots and reinforce one of the units. Uh, yeah. um, well, they're quite nice models to get painted up on the table as well. I painted a couple up for uh, mm -hmm. Rayo, and I found them, like, really surprisingly enjoyable. Um, and oh, they're cool models, no yeah. doubt. Um, it would be nice to see Hobgrots on the table because you don't see them very often. Um, I've uh, not seen them ever. And also Grinning Blades. So they've got the Out of the Mist ability is Grinning Blade units are not visible to enemy units that are more than 12 away from them. Which is 
huge. It's massive. Like that's really, I'm not sure if people can realize on how many levels that's really very, very, very good. Well, I played against like cruel boys and just shot off all their guns. And then they're basically like, I don't care. Yep. Whereas now you can't. It's massive. Um, it's a massive boost. Um, it means that big yellows will become less because you, you you normally go big yellows because you need the range, right? You so now see you a don't unit need to, to charge it, it on like three <clears throat> no, six charge units. No, you don't. No. Enemy unit is visible and within eighteen inches. No, no visible. Like no, no, you don't. Just need shooting. It's just shooting. So okay. So it's, magic it's, missiles and missile missiles. Yeah, some spells say visible. So yep. like you know, so it um. Some spells will say pick an enemy unit that's visible within 18, for example. Some debuffs as well. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah, debuffs or, or like, you know, things like right, that. But, but basically, like, it's mainly shooting is the big thing. Hey, so. it helps. They're, they're fragile boys. That's a, it's a big difference, and it fits with their fluff, so... Well, it means you get to shoot with your guns first, or when you get a turn, you move up and you shoot, or they, you know, you, you're not getting shot off before you get the chance to use your guys. Appropriate for <clears throat> Unless they move very close to you, but then you're in close, so, you know, you can screen off. So you can have your guns and then put your men forward, and then you because you can do, like, super sneaky set up, and they can't get to within 12. They can't physically get there. Um, so, yeah, it's good. Good change. Um, bone splitters. Um, so the spirit of Gork and Walker battle trait has changed. If the modified hit roll of an attack made by a melee weapon is a six, it's two hits instead of one. So this, I think it had a, a, a model count requirement before. So you had okay, to fight so more than 10 models or something like that. So, oh, okay then. So your rogue idols, they can do this now. Um, mm -hmm. oh, it's nice. Yeah. That makes a big difference on them actually. It's a huge difference. Well, it's it's big stabbers, ball boys, boys yeah, yeah. characters, everything. So, Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, it, it's a good change. Yeah, it was needlessly restrictive, so that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it is. Uh, hopefully, we don't see a big stabber spam meta. Well, get your 3D printers out, boys. <laughs> if you write a book like that, I think you're going to end up with one, aren't you? I may have outed anyway. Darren Watson. Uh, <laughs> Then you got to change to Gloom Spite. Dropping Zealots. Um, so replace the Moon Clan Fungus Brew effect with Frothing Zealots. If a friendly Moon Clan unit receives the Rally Command while it is affected by the Light of the Black Moon, you can return one slain model of that unit for each four plus instead of each six. Which is pretty good. Because it's. Um, it says Moon Clan Fungus Brew effect with Frothing Zealots. So it says a friendly Moon Clan unit. So I think that's all Moon Clan units, like whether you're Squig, Troll, Grot. Um, yeah, so it's pretty quite good. Yeah, pretty tasty. Sorry, I was just dying with pollen related. <laughs> I don't know whether a Fungus Brew only applies to certain ones. So I need to check that because the next one is Trogoff Renewal effect. Which is plus one save for Gloom Spike gets chog off units while they're affected by the light. See, they're um I'll get the units are tanky already. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the Bad Moon Loon Shrine. So add effigy of the Bad Moon. A Gloom Spike gets units that are affected by light of the Bad Moon while they're whole within twelve of this terrain feature. So your your loon shrine becomes a bad moon bubble which is huge that's like a well, massive I mean, that's a chunk of the table you've got flexibility it's huge. You've... that's a massive quite, area it's quite a big terrain piece so you can't always put it exactly where you want but um that is a big enough bubble that that may well not matter yeah but you've got to think all the bonuses to cast all the things oh, yeah, like yeah. your plus yeah, one yeah, save entirely. the it's rally huge. everything you just it all keys off that one thing um it's yeah it's that's a great I mean, it really does make that terrain piece super important, but that kind of this is the feel with the army anyway. Yeah. So it's interesting. I don't know how much of a big difference that'll make. Um, if you're well, a Goom Spike Gits player, already. Yeah. stick it down. Um, do do like Squigs get run and charge in the light of the bad moon? I think they do. So maybe that's uh, what's quite good for Squiggies. I can't remember. But yeah, they get some stuff. But nice balance updates. I'm not sure if the bottom's been brought up enough. 
Um, uh, I, the, the, but that's a, an almost impossible task for them, though, isn't it? Trying mm. to bring the bottom up because the bottom's the bottom because it needs rewriting fundamentally in a lot of situations. So I think this is a good effort. No, I in I a, think in it's a small amount of words too, which I'm a real fan of. Yeah, it's like a page and a half. Yeah. Like I think if you have to um, look at this and basically say what does it do. It, I think it achieves quite a lot with not a lot of changes yeah. and they're quite sensible changes. Yeah, agreed. And I like that um, it's not just a takeaway, it's a give as well. Yeah. Because it's made me think about OBR lists and Sunesh lists, which, you know, when you think about the, the small changes that are there, um, I don't know if you're a you know, I don't know, Legion player or Stormcast player or what you're thinking, oh, what am I going to do now? But then I think you've had it so good for so long, maybe it's not a problem. So, Or, you know, you're going to turn up to event and your opponents are going to moan less, which is always nice. Or nah. you, know, you turn up big... Oh, people, like... people don't. They, they just they just remember, like, they don't... They won't moan less. They'll just be like, we oh, have, we have I'm still going to win at Seraphon players. It's fine. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, Seraphon. Um... But uh, we had people saying, when we made some changes to Luminef, we had some people saying that, you know, mm -hmm. they liked it because they turned up and they told their opponents, I'm playing like this because I think it seems fair. And their opponents like, oh, thank you. Um, and you get that when you take any, you know, non-meta version of a meta army. People are like, oh, cool, that's different. So I do think it's, you know, it's a nice positive thing for the game as a whole, whether competitive or casual. Yeah, I 100% I agree with that. I think the, um, the, the update's really welcomed. Um, so obviously like this plus the new GHB and the new missions and everything and the Prime Hunters going away. The Prime Hunters going away should probably offset the the hit for those other armies because yeah. that's probably why they had that hit, right? Because of these couple of rules and those going away. I think the Storm Drake Guard choice is really happy about that one. That was yeah, yeah. that and the Skink one, those two are so irritating. Yeah. I mean they're all good Absolutely. changes. They are. I don't disagree with any of these um at all actually i think they're very unbalanced they're very balanced which is what it's meant to be about yeah but that is the battle scroll update you can go over to the community site and read the article <laughs> click on the link and see it yeah we'll pop a link below um but we thought we'd cover it because obviously it's quite a big deal for competitive play um and let us know what you think below if you think it's a good booth by gw you like this kind of thing if you dislike it if you're suddenly thinking of cruel boy lists or other lists you know let us know because we're always interested to see what what happens when people well, what's, what's your of stalker yeah. list and you never know as well gw might read what people are writing um so write it yeah. eloquently <laughs> um there's so many rules coming thick and fast at the moment. Hopefully you guys are finding it useful using us as like a, a source for the news on rules. We'll keep we'll keep up to it, uh, you know, to the best of our ability, because my god, there's a lot of stuff dropping at the moment. Yeah, there is, and, and lots of um just general shift in the state of play. Um you don't but even just... know what the state of play is. It's no, exactly. It's exciting. It? First time we can report on it. Yeah. Yeah. So um but yeah, get your pain bringers out. That's what I'm saying. I'm not doing that. I'm going to put a full model army on the table. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to play too much after they've been nerfed. Genuinely, there's too much going on for me at the moment. Yeah. So I'm either going to play almost exactly the army that I played before in Nurgle, but I'm getting a bit bored of them, um, or I will put something mental on the table. Um, don't know what that is, but I'll uh, probably pick a painting project to match. Yeah. Play Flesh Eaters and just let loads of big terror guys. I mean, I, I love that model. I've got Got three zombie dragons in the room. Or do Soul Blight. They've got some good monster mash. Take Lok of Eye and uh, oh, yeah, the Dynasty, whatever it is, Avanagori Dynasty. Is that the one? I'd love to do a. I'd love to do a painting and modeling project with Sons of Beer Matt. Those models are insane to build and to paint and to convert. So slightly tempted by that. I have to see. Maybe just cabbage it. Cabbages. Cabbages work. I like them. Um, yeah, I like Iron Jewels in this in this pack. They're good. So anyway, that's the update. Thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all the news yeah. and reviews. Let us know what would be helpful next. There's so much changing. We'll take your suggestions. If you're like, I would love to know, you know, top five improved units in whatever or something. Let us know and we'll have a little look at it.
yeah, maybe I'll do a I'll write a cruel boys list based on the new changes using grinning blades. I think it's I think this it's gonna be good. I think Big Yellows is gonna fall off the wayside a little bit. So good. I definitely think that's right. a, a great change for cruel boy players. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I found the faction very stale very quickly. Yeah, yeah. And it's never nice to worry that you're going to turn up and turn one your game's going to be over because someone's got, you know, Deepkin. Half of their army has shooting. Yeah, exactly. It generally felt unfair when I played against yeah. the guy with Cruel Boys and I had Deepkin. I just basically thought, this isn't a game. Right? This My is just such a mishmatch. I'm I just going to. Well, I said it was a team event. And I basically said, if you give me that matchup, that's a game. That's, that's 20. Yeah. So uh, nothing he can do. There you All go. for it. All for more balance. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and um, we'll catch you all together in the next one. See you, guys. Bye. Bye.